Trump, why are we outside? Didn't you hear on the weather forecast that it's going to rain in a few hours? We should have played something instead of doing whatever you want to do now. Nothing is better than chocolate chocolate chip ice cream while playing Minecraft. Really, Donald, you got us to the presidential helicopter? Are you really trying to assassinate us or what is wrong with you? I ain't getting in that thing if the rain is about to start. Okay, both of you, listen here. This isn't about if you want to get in the helicopter or not. It's about getting in it and getting the job done. You guys saw the news and know what's up. Jeffrey Epstein documents are getting leaked and I got my hands on some information that he might still be alive and hiding on an island. So we need to go there, track him down and kill him once and for all. Whoa, wasn't he your friend? Bro, let him be. I'm sure he's, um, he's dead and not alive, hiding on an island close to the coast of Los Angeles. Don't we have better things to do? Well, the island that we're about to fly to is in fact close to the coast. So that just goes to show me how you've been hiding this information from us all this time. That's why you a degenerate. And I can't wait until I debate you again in 2024 so I can body slam you right on TV in front of all of the people that are going to watch it. And that's why I'm going to have bodyguards protecting the bodyguards bodyguarding me. Because you are a national threat that should be locked up in solitary confinement. All I hear is yapping. Obama, load your guns and be prepared. We don't know what awaits for us on that island. Look, we arrived. It is down there, but now comes the question. How do you plan on landing this helicopter without making it too obvious that we arrived? If we want to kill him, we must somehow be stealthy. Am I right? Um, no, you're not. As Joe said, I was friends with him at one point, so I made some phone calls and I arranged this meeting. What he thinks that is going to happen is that we're going to have a political discussion on how we could involve him as well behind the scenes. But what bro doesn't know is that the discussion is going to start with bullets and is going to end in screaming and bombs. It looks like there are some security guards there and they all have weapons in their hands, bro. Don't get me wrong, I'm not afraid, but, but I think we should leave and come back another time. Shut up, bitch, and stop crying. There aren't even that many of them, okay? So this is the plan, I'll land the helicopter, and then we go to talk with one of those security guards, tell them that we came to meet Jeffrey and blah, blah, blah. If they say no, then it's up. If they say come inside, then it's up too. But it's just going to be more delayed, so either way, this is going to turn into war. Jeffrey? Bro, what is this shit I thought we were after Epstein, not Jeffrey Dahmer? They share the same name, idiot. Okay, Donald, so it seems that we will need to have each other's back. Joe is too cooked in the head to realize where we even are right now. Biden, be honest with us. How long have you not been taking your pills for? Pills? What pills? Is this a trick question or what? That sounds like something the United States president would say. Now, come on, follow me. Let's talk to one of the security guards here and see how we can apply our plan. If shit doesn't seem to go in the right direction, I'll say the key words, peanut butter, french fries, double cheeseburger, when you hear that you can start shooting them. Peanut butter, french fries, what? Bro, I got a better option. What about chocolate chip ice cream? It's way more easier to say and remember. And it's also very common, so they won't figure out it's actually a code sentence. Shut up, we're approaching and they might hear us. Just act normal and let me talk. Biden, don't act normal. What he means by that is to act calm. I know normal for you means to bark out of control, so please don't do that. All right, hello, dear friends. What are you doing? We came here to visit Mr. Jeffrey. Is he home? We scheduled a meeting with him today at this hour, and we'll be more than glad to have a talk with ham, him. Ham, 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 ham. Uh, excuse my friend Joe. He forgot to take his pills. Joe, what are you doing, bro? Mr. Jeffrey Epstein is not available at the moment. Please proceed to leave the island and take this as a first and last call. You are not welcomed here. I think there's a misunderstanding. I talked to his close people and scheduled so that we meet today at this island. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the coordinates to it. So either you talk to a higher up or we are more than welcome to get in. Just bring him here. He's going to tell it to your face. Listen, you have 30 seconds to take off and leave. I'm sorry for you that you flew all the way here for no reason, but I'm telling you, Mr. Epstein is not getting called anywhere. He told us clearly that he doesn't accept any visitors today. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you something, idiot. Guess what? He does, in fact, accept visitors today. Boys, chocolate chip, peanut butter, potato, french fries. This is what you get for messing with the presidents. We could have done this the easy way. Oh, great. Now we're in great danger, bro. We alerted everybody that we arrived. How do you want to kill him anymore now? Who we could have alerted Biden? We're in the middle of the ocean. We he killed all of his guards, now the manhunt begins. Search in this whole mansion for his ass. He has to hide somewhere. Or maybe we just came here for no reason and he's not even home. I hate it, bro. Why do we have to be the ones doing all the assassinations every time? Can't we hire somebody else to do it for us? No, because you can't find anybody else like us. We are professionals. Is that Jeffrey? Oh my, hey Jeff, long time no see. How are you doing, buddy? Bro, what the? That's him. So all this time you were still alive. Ah! 
Oh my, that was it, he's dead. Oh man, no. E Epstein, I'm sorry, bro, that I betrayed you, but I had to do it. I didn't want to end up in prison. Look who arrived. What did I tell you that if we make a mess here, we're going to announce everybody? Did you think bro had only 12 bodyguards guarding him? He has ties with the police, and they came after us. Now try to get us out of this shit, Trump. How are we going to escape? We're in the middle of the ocean, as you said. Donald, let's go now, while we still have a chance. No! You guys make sure those helicopters stay in the water while I'm destroying his entire island. We can't leave until this house is going down. I'm going to take my time bombing every corner of it, while you guys take your time to fight the cops. Bro, the rain has started. It's exactly what we told you before we even got in that helicopter. And it was announced that it's going to lead to a strong storm. People being advised to stay inside. And yet we're on who knows where. On a random island, fighting the cops. This shit is ridiculous. Hurry it up. Both of you need to have some patience and you act like it's raining with stones, not water. I have a couple of more rooms, then I'm done. A couple more rooms to what? Bro, you are weird. Why did you feel the need to destroy his island after assassinating him? It's not like he could have used it anymore. Bro, some Sometimes you amaze me on how insane you are. You really need help, Brody. I really need help, huh? This is not only his island. It is used by his allies, too. So we need to destroy the source. This is where he kept all of his documents and information. It was his main land. But all right, maybe we did have enough. Let's go head to the helicopter and get out of here. But we do need to take his body with us and dump it somewhere in the ocean. Oh my, then let's go already. Do you see how many helicopters there are? We can stay until tomorrow here shooting at them. They will keep on coming until they exterminate us. Biden, watch out. They are throwing grenades from the helicopters at us. No, what are they doing? Don't tell me they want to, Hey, we are done. We are done. Do you guys hear me? That was it. We're finished. What happened? What happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened, you piece of shit. Our helicopter just got bombed and we no longer can escape the island. That's what happened. And all of this because you thought to be crazy enough to spend hours nuking his house when we could have left before the rain even started and still with Jeffrey being assassinated. We still have one of his boats, okay, that was it? Go on to that boat and help me get him on it as well. As I said, we can't leave this place without his body. Otherwise, they're gonna take it and clone him. And then you ask yourself why people don't like you, Trump. It's because of this unnecessary shit you love doing for no reason just to, I don't know, I'm, I'm speechless. Ah, oh, shit, these stupid stairs. Come on, bro, we don't have time to waste. If you wanna live, then we should go. Dang it, sometimes ah, I feel like I'm talking Slow down, bro, I need to take a seat. Then take one already, what are you waiting on? And the storm just started going harder. How all of a sudden you were in a hurry, bitch? Didn't you just spend two hours bombing a house while we were screaming at you to go before things turned worse? And don't get me wrong, I did enjoy the bombing part, by the way, but you were talking about some, oh, don't worry, boys, we have plenty of time. And now we're in a storm on an ocean fleeing from the police on a boat with a dead body in it, and not any body, but Jeffrey Epstein's one. I know Obama in life, sometimes shit looks unreal. But in fact, it is as real as it gets. In total honesty, we could have easily stayed our asses at home and played GTA 5 or Roblox. But guess what? This is what we signed up for. So quit complaining. Um, correction, I signed up to be the president so I can steal as much money as I can. Not so I can be an ethical assassin trying to fix the timeline of the world or whatever bullshit you've been saying. But hey, I guess in the end, this is what it comes with. Now have fun trying to take down the police helicopters by yourself since me and Obama used all of our bullets back on that island. How does that helicopter keep on following us? What do they make those things out of? Either you have the worst aim in history or that thing is made out of titanium and where exactly are we heading at? You can't even see too much due to the storm. Oh, look at him, go and try to become a boat. Have fun swimming through the sharks, you dumb cops. Oh man, you have one more to go, Donnie. Come on, you can do it. And like Obama said, where, where are we going? That's an interesting question. We'll see where we're exactly going once I'm done taking out these morons that keep on following us. Like, come on, bro, go home already, it's getting late. I can't stand these pricks. I'm having in mind to see if maybe we can drop him off to the sharks, or maybe just leave him somewhere where he can get eaten by another animal, other than you two. All right, Donald, you better chill out with the animal jokes before I flip this boat upside down. Why are you getting so mad? And look who's spiraling without control. That's what you get for trying to stop the best assassin in the world from finishing his mission. I only had three bullets left, so that was close. Well, three bullets were enough to make us able to dap him up and try it for a second time while having a drink with Abraham Lincoln. It seems like the rain is slowly calming down. Well, today was a crazy day. Not only did we commit a terror attack on an island capturing and assassinating Jeffrey Epstein, but we also fought the entire oh, look, police department on our own. I always wondered if that's they how you know you're the real deal. Oh, when you need to like reform the police department because you just took down the whole thing with an assault rifle, 
while murking another person. Yeah, I have no clue what you were talking there, Biden. I'm just impressed that you formed more than two sentences without stuttering. You see, slowly you're bettering yourself. Good thing, Joey. Thank you, Obama. I knew since day one that you were going to be my friend forever. Thank you for telling me to stop taking those pills. They were just making things worse. And of course, thank you for also telling me how to launder money, bomb other countries, blackmail other presidents, steal from the citizens, you already know. The list goes on. Sometimes I feel so bad sitting between two corrupted individuals because of my purity. But to be honest, nobody can even compare with me. That's why I'm okay with downgrading my morals just to talk with you two. Did you downgrade yourself to a dog as well by any chance? Because by the way you've been barking, it seems that you need to be put on a leash. Now, me personally, I wouldn't let that slide. Now tell us, is this the place where you're gonna dump the body? Look, I came here having in mind getting rid of one dead body. Don't make me wanna change it to three. And yes, this is where we're gonna leave him. Nobody is going to even think that he's here. And by the time they do, it's going to be all eaten by turtles. Yo, who keeps on sending me messages on the phone. It's been vibrating for the past five minutes. I bet it's my wife trying to, oh nah, Barack. The Secret Service just asked me why I'm not at the White House with my boyfriend, Obama. We're done. Don't tell anybody what we did today. We just wanted to get ice cream.